We are all gathered here to oppose another execution. Today, people talk about the budget and what's being cut, and everybody's tightening their belts. In the state of Florida, we spend over $50 million every year just to have the death penalty on the book. That $50 million is enough to hire a thousand additional law enforcement officers. 835 school teachers. What we get for that is the killing on an average of two prisoners every year who are going to die in prison anyway. It's totally unnecessary. The chances of executing an innocent person are far greater in Florida than anywhere else. How can the state feel justified to executing someone when the DNA testing is inconclusive? <laughs> Florida has had 22 death row inmates exonerated more than any other state. How is it that when DNA testing is found to be conclusive for a finding of guilty, it is upheld, but where is it found inconclusive? This is not found to be sufficient ground for reasonable doubt. <laughs> Frank Lee Smith spent 14 years on death row claiming his innocence. Unfortunately, cancer took his life, but after his death, DNA cleared him, and he was innocent. Rather than showing the system is working, these cases clearly indicate that much is failing in our justice system. <laughs> thirsting for justice, and certain of your mercy. You know, they say justice is supposed to be swift and sure. The death penalty is certainly not swift and is definitely not sure in Florida. An eye for an eye makes the whole world blind by Gandhi. indicated a lot of flaws in the Florida justice system and how many of these have been corrected. The message is not in our name. Whenever the state chooses to kill a prisoner, it's done in the name of the people of the state of Florida. No one has asked us how we feel about it. Over 50 percent of the population now from the report that was on the news yesterday are against the death penalty. The loudest voices in the past have always been kill, kill, kill. We're here today to say stop the kill. Whoever seeks to take a life with this in their heart is themselves guilty of murder. So I say to all of you, please stand up and fight and let the justices and the new president of the United States, Mr. Obama, know how wrong the death penalty is. We the people do not agree with the death penalty. If there is no stay, the execution is scheduled to take place at 6 o'clock. We'll mark 6 o'clock if there's no stay with the ringing of the bell that's been rung at every execution here for years. Hopefully we won't have to ring the bell.
death penalty is going to end. It just won't end by itself. It's going to take a push. It's going to take everybody pushing.